Hello everyone, welcome to today's stream. Today we are playing Potion Permits. Um, I think it came out maybe a week or two ago on Steam officially, but it's had a demo for a while. Um, I have played neither yet, uh, but I did see my roommate playing it a bit actually, and it's been on my wish list for a while. Um, it seemed, from what I was seeing from the images, I recall it being sort of Stardew Valley-like, but not quite. Uh, but we'll see as we play the game today uh, how it actually is, and we'll see if that impression actually holds up. Uh, I do... <laughs> I know my Twitter posts weren't properly set up for it, but uh, I did at least do some prep work for it initially, in that I got <laughs> the game hooked up properly initially. Um, a lot of my streams recently have been sort of off the cuff, and as far as game planning goes, so uh, the fact that I actually planned this out is a bit different from how it's been in the recent weeks. But yeah, here we go. Potion permits. I should turn on the audio, shouldn't I? Here we go. So I'm playing with a controller right now myself. Um, I'll check out the options first. Uh, one thing about this is, if I go into, like, it normally shows the keyboard controls here, unless you have the controller set up. Uh, but if I enter the keyboard setting here, I can't exit without using the keyboard. Which is a little inconvenient, but aside from that... Uh, anyway, we're gonna play, I guess. Just starting off <laughs> immediately. Uh, we've got no data, of course. So, oh, we get to customize our character. How do I edit the name? Down here. Oh, but... Apparently pressing square is randomizing. Because <laughs> I'm... In my head I have it mapped to a PlayStation controller. But it's using... It's showing Xbox controllers on the bottom there. Um, how do I do this? Oh, but... Okay, let's try... Name. How do I edit this? Okay, I have to actually select it. <laughs> I mean, it is legal here in Canada, so I could arguably be one. And let's see, I think this is backspace. There we go. I wonder what the character limit is for the name. Oh, you can actually put in a lot. Let's just delete all those again. Name it, obviously, Raylan TV. So apparently square was backspace, I guess. Uh, capital T and V. There we go. <laughs> yes, my name is... I, I can't roll my R's that well, so... <laughs> I'm kind of out of luck there. Alright, so we've got the obvious gender select there. Skin color. Obviously, I'm going to be paper white. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, default hair is fine. More reddish colored might work. Oh, that's my phone alerting me to the fact that it's time to start stream. Bit late there. <laughs> I also just realized that um, I normally have the game setups off to uh, the left of my screen. I guess it kind of, I'm mirrored here, so it's not working properly. Um, but I normally have it set up off to the side. And uh, apparently it reset back to the center uh, when I started up the game. Uh, which I, it took me a little while to notice. Let's see, can we get a darker color for that actually? Yeah, it's fine. Blue eyes... Not showing up too, too well. I can choose our outfit color. Okay. Doesn't change... Oh, there's cape color is a separate thing. Okay. Uh, let's see. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly dark in color to match my outfit here. Uh, capes are also all rather bright colors. Which I guess kind of works with the actual game. 
a cell land. Yeah, that's a pretty appropriate description of the colors, isn't it? Let's see. I will go with brown, I guess. And I guess we're finished. We can't change our name later. But I guess that means we can change our outfit later. So I'm wondering how that's going to work out. I've already got an achievement. Welcome to Moonbury. I'm on a train. Oh, knock at the door. In game. Is that my dog? Does he have goggles on? Ah, excuse me. Raylan TV, it's me, Dr. Nestor from the Medical Association. Slime nod. There's a respite for Earth. There's a respite for the dog if I play this game. I imagine there might be for mods. I don't know how that works though, because it didn't give me the option to customize the dog myself, obviously. But I wouldn't be surprised if someone had modded the game to actually do that. Uh, I'm on my way to meet our colleagues on Moonbury Island. I didn't look into modding before this. I'm literally just starting the game for the first time. I bought it, like, maybe a couple hours ago. <laughs> so, I haven't looked into it too much. But it looks like a cute game from what I saw, a little bit of it. So. Uh, yeah, mods save lives. That's, yeah. Mods are great. Uh, the Association HQ asked me to say hello to you since we're taking the same train. Wolf indeed. Oh my, I didn't realize you were bringing your dog along. Isn't it adorable? I like how he didn't realize that was a dog until it barked. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, well, this is kind of unexpected. Also, it just keeps barking. It's just barking nonstop in the preview. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> that would have been really good. I should have gone with Raylan for myself and TV for the dog. That would have been great. If I'd realized there was a dog, I probably would have done that. But it really came out of nowhere. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, I'm going to name it TV, like I have for Final Fantasy XIV, where it's stretched out weirdly. TV. There we go. Can't change the dog's name later either. Such an adorable name. <laughs> Are you going to help out Raylan TV's important assignment, TV? We're almost at Moonbury Station. While you're on the island, you'll be rep representing the Medical Association. Do you have everything in order? The text speed is a little slow. I imagine I could speed it up by pressing the prompt. Um, but <laughs> I don't know if I'm reading too quickly or if the game is just kind of a bit slow with the text. I don't know if I can edit that. This is a valuable opportunity for us. We're all counting on you. If you're successful, we may finally be allowed to establish a branch on the island. Oh, that was kind of high-pitched. Here we are. Let's get going. Slime nod. <laughs> I left my potions behind. Are we all perpetually in diagonal positions here? <laughs> Time to glassmate. <laughs> This is it, Raylan TV. Moonbury Island. It probably shouldn't bother me. I might get used to it pretty quickly, but um, the the period, like the punctuation right after Raylan TV, I don't know if you can tell at this resolution, but it's a plus sign. I know they can use like the actual like the circle, cause they have one on the exclamation mark. <laughs> And here are our colleagues. Please allow me to introduce Moira and Colin. They're probably going to be rival characters, aren't they? You must be the new chemist. 
We've already talked to the mayor. He's waiting for you up ahead, by the town gates. The association is counting on you. Don't let us down. Uh, the the uh, the comma also kind of throws me off a bit. I'm trying to remember, it's been a while since I studied Japanese. It kind of reminds me of um, the character for Na in Japanese, uh, in Katakana. Uh, oh, don't let her bo or don't let her worry you. Hey, you brought along your medical journal, right? Remember to check and update it regularly, and make sure to be polite and helpful. You're the association's first representative here. I don't know about that. Well, you'd better get going. From what little I recall from my roommate explaining the story, they had one, they had a representative before, but it was quite a while ago. And I guess some incident happened, I don't know the specifics of, that caused them to sort of kick the, uh, the association out. And we're trying to get permission to actually Start up our facilities in town. That dog's walk is ridiculous. Do you think Raylan TV will manage on their own? Probably not. I have my doubts. I do too. And I am him. <laughs> but I'm excited to see what happens. Let's head back to the capital. Yeah, we're all at uh, perpetual diagonals, I guess. Except for the dog. Lynn TV, we've been expecting you. I'm guessing that's the mayor's wife. <laughs> she looks like she has an attitude just from the stance. Allow me to welcome you to Moonbury. It's the mayor's name is just Mayor, except with the O replaced with an E, and they remove the A. This is my wife. Well, we've got mayor for the mayor. Why don't we name the mayor's wife Marielle? It's an absolute pleasure to meet you. Imagine if they had called her Mariette. Also, she feels my mouse is. Oh, never mind. Uh, it was me who sent that letter to the capital. I want to do that. <laughs> I kind of want to do that voice snap for the mayor. You see, our daughter needs your help. Our Rue... The daughter's name is just Street in French, isn't it? Our Rue has been feeling off-color for a very long time. We've been trying to find a cure for her yet, er, for her, uh, but as yet, to no avail. But with your help, we hope she'll get better. Oh dear! Anyway, Rue is currently being seen by Moonberry's local witch doctor. It will be some time before she returns. Witch doctor? But before that, I should tell you a little about Moonberry's previous dealings with chemists from the capital. Would you be so kind as to come with us? I don't even know if I have a home yet, so yes, I'll take along. But before I explain everything, I'd like to introduce you to everyone. It's the middle of the night. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about the fact that I saw the the waitress girl. My mouse disappears when I put it up for the screen. I saw the uh, the bartender girl up in the top there, and I was like, "Huh, I wonder if there's romance options in this game." <laughs> You mean the one that's got the really wavy hair there? We haven't seen the friend of her yet, so I'm kind of curious how she'll look. And it turns out to just be some like really long-haired hippie guy, kind of like Elliot from. Uh, is it Elliot? Oh, it's been it's been a while since I played Stardew, so I'm blanking the names. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. We've come together tonight to welcome a guest. Please allow me to introduce Raylan TV. <laughs> if it's a long-haired man, we'll have to find out. Raylan TV is a chemist sent by the Medical Association. 
I am so much paler than everyone here. I kind of regret choosing the palest option. <laughs> As you are well aware, our daughter has been sick for a long time. My wife and I are still trying to find a cure for her illness. It's going to require, like, the most basic potion, too. With that in mind, we have sought the soci er, we have sought assistance from the capital. I hope you will give Raylan TV a warm welcome. Get the fuck out! That name is not helping for me determining this. We know you're desperate for a er, we know you're hmm. That's an accent they have. We know you're desperate for a cure. But you want to watch who you bring in, uh, Mayor. It might be a man. We'll find out soon. <laughs> this person's a pirate, yeah! A chemist will shiver me timbers. I have crewmates more competent than this here in office. Nobody from the capital can be trusted. Have you forgotten what they did? Now, now, won't anyone make a newcomer feel welcome? Please forgive- er, right, Mayor's voice. Please forgive us, everyone is just a little excited. <laughs> He's the only one I'm going to do a special voice for right now, I guess. <laughs> now if you'd follow me, I'll show you to your lodgings. Great! I wonder what my house will look like. Um... This old building used to be our previous chemist's house. Its former owner moved away a long time ago. Now that it's empty, you can take it over. It's it's definitely an ambiguous name right now. We'll find out soon. Oh, what was that noise? I realize it might be rather odd to you that not everyone here is overjoyed about your presence. We have a rather history of incidents involving the Medical Association. Okay, there's a woman. Well, we'll find out soon. Or did you just see the front of the model? Our relationship has been rather disastrous so far. I imagine they haven't told you a single word about all the thing or all this in the capital. They didn't even tell me when I arrived in town. I literally just learned it officially when I entered the bar. Um, literally, they were like, this will be the first time we're entering this community, and, uh, I guess I shouldn't trust them now. You'll learn more about it as you discover the island. Let's come back to all this after you've rested, shall we? And please don't forget our request. Our daughter needs your help. I'll see you tomorrow, Raylan TV. I don't even know if I'm doing his voice properly anymore. <laughs> Good night, sleep well. Sure, I'll sleep in this place that clearly has smashed in windows and looks like an explosion went off on side. I mean, look off on the side there, the left side. Monopoly Man in Australia. <laughs> I'm not playing Dinkum, so I don't know if the Australia thing really... Whoa, that was loud. Uh, you can move your character around freely. Oh, I thought that was a different dog for a second there. While you're running, your dog will follow you wherever you go. Sadly, he's not allowed to come inside the house. You can interact with some of the obstacles around you. You will see a sign whenever you are close to an interactable object. When you're close to multiple interactable objects, you can navigate between them. With, I guess, the right analog stick. Uh, can I move my bed? Okay, let's see what my options are here. Oh. I guess this is the character screen. Is that a cat? So there's a lot of them. I haven't met the mayor yet? I haven't met the mayor yet. Who have I met then? This one's just not even on the list. Like, what? What does the head tilt there? Yeah, I met TV, apparently, but he's not on this list. 
Um, I've got several different potions, I guess. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is just the full item list, I guess. Some foods, fish. So I guess this means there's fishing in the game. Um, I can capture animals, I assume. I can't tell if that's a bear or just a massive pair of lips with like a face on top. And this is the tutorial page and settings. Okay. Oh, what? Cutscene? Okay. This place is a wreck. You couldn't clean it up before I got here, at least? Like, in Stardew Valley, they at least had the decency to clean up my house. You can decorate your room with the available furniture. Try to interact with the floor plan object to start decorating your room. You can acquire more furniture by purchasing them from or purchasing them from the bulk and build. What's this note? Okay, I can't select it. Nothing to research. I can decorate the Oh. Any newly acquired furniture will be registered here for decoration purposes. You're not allowed to place any furniture that may block your path between your door or between your bed and the door. Uh, try rotating the furniture to fit in or fit it in the special space available to your room. Okay, table, none. Chair. Ew. Lighting, none. Decoration, none. Worn carpet, okay. Um, I regret this decision already. Yeah, I, I know you're knocking at the door. You don't need to be... Oh, I have a dodge roll. I need to repair most stuff in here in order to actually do anything. So what can I actually do here? Oh. What's this? It's just... Like a... An arcana book? Like, I don't know. Anyway, it's the dog. Good morning, Raylan TV! I trust you slept well. This is probably going to be our rival, the witch doctor. Excellent! Allow me to introduce Zhao, my assistant. Very nice to meet you. I work with Mayor Mayor at the town hall. I was hoping the two of you would get along. If there's anything you need, Zhao will be, uh, will be able to assist you. It's your first day. I'd like you to get, er, I'd like you to get, I'd like you to start getting to know our island. I've asked one of our rangers to meet you near Meadow Range and show you the ropes. To get there, cross the bridge to the south, then head east. Okay. He also has some things prepared for you. Well, you'd better be off. Our ranger forest. Forest Ranger! Got it! It's waiting for you as we speak. Since we're going to be making potions, I'm wondering if there's going to be... Whoa! Tutorial thing. Uh, I wonder if there's going to be deadlines for um, when we have to actually accomplish things. Uh, Show is literally the name of my favorite Cantonese song. <laughs> I am I am becoming curious if there's actually romance options in this game though. Uh, your highlighted quest will be shown at the top right of the screen. You can highlight another quest on the quest page. Look at it in your journal. Uh, the mini map at the top right will show the quest objectives as icons. You can enlarge the map to show all the available quests around the island. Oh, it's even got like a little marker on the mini map there in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, what's this other house here? This is our clinic? Okay, that's... Can I pet the dog? I cannot. I can only dodge roll constantly. Okay, what else can I actually do here? Oh, apparently triangle opens up my material menu. Everything around my house needs repairs. These streetlights need repairs as well, apparently. 
Osman's house. How's it going, presumably Osman? <laughs> I came into his house and just... Yes, let's lurk here at this bed. We're watching you. Mind how you behave. <laughs> I was the one watching you. What are you talking about, Osman? Okay, let's see. 25 gold for what? Lazy Bowl Tavern. Girlfriend. That's what GF stands for, right? It's not it's not ground floor or anything. Lots of sitting options at least. Oh, didn't mean to actually sit, I want to dodge roll. Arcade center? I'm a little curious now. There's an actual arcade here. Okay. Tutorial. Press directions. Whack mole. Oh. Okay, so I can only hit the brown ones. Oh, it's just the direction. Okay. Oh! Reaction time! <laughs> it's not a bad score. Whack a nut mole. Not the top score, though. But I could change that very easily. So I'm going to. <laughs> Oh, nope. There goes my perfect score. Okay. Concentrating. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh! Yeah, I'm not getting the perfect score here either. Okay, that's a better score, but not a perfect one. The mayor does play. I mean, everyone in town obviously plays this game. Uh, who's Otmar? Oh well. One more try. Don't waste the entire day doing this instead of healing the, the mayor's daughter. Okay. Not too bad. Oh! Yeah, so anyway, my daughter died, Raylan. Oh, that... Why am I the top? Otmar has a higher score than me. Well, whatever. I'll I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take my high score. <laughs> uh, Let's see, upstairs? Oh. Just be careful about dodge rolling near chairs and stuff. It just sticks me in the chair instead. Uh, let's see. Is there anyone else up here? Oh, can I rummage through that? No. Also, doesn't look like there's anyone hiding up here. Yeah, they've got no guests. Also, I shouldn't dodge roll through doors because I accidentally closed the door instead. They don't open until 10 minutes from now. There they go. They opened. There's no one here, though. I've got literally no money anyway. Uh, anyway, let's go check out Forest, I guess. <laughs> no tenants. Oh, I guess Osmond's a police officer. Hey, you'd better tread carefully. We're watching you. Yeah, there's Osmond right there. I guess he's the police chief. Which makes it weirder that I was lurking in his bed. 
Uh, bulletin board. This board displays any information of interest around Moonbury. Uh, like friendship events. So there's friendship at least. He does have a nice coat, yeah. An icon will be displayed over the board when there's something new to check out. There are several identical boards around the town you can view. Uh, there's no news at the moment, though. And that's because I don't have trust level with anyone. Okay. <laughs> Great. Well, I guess we're going down this way, and then off to the east. Oh, there's a house there. Whose house is that? Wait, why am I sweating? Was I dodge rolling too much? Oh, this is Forest House. Okay. You have two beds, but I'm assuming Forest lives alone. Oh, well. up north. There's a shed here too. Bubble. Well, well, chemist. The nature on this island is brutal. You should work harder. Work harder for what? I just got here. Step aside, chemist. Talk to me once you've shown you can actually work. What? <laughs> I was told to come here and meet you. He's, he's right there again. Hey there, you must be the chemist. My name's Forrest. Then who was I just talking to? Mayor Mayor told me you'd be coming this way. I've got a little something for you. It's an axe. <laughs> Call it a welcome gift. You might need it because I've got an errand for you. I'm assuming it's an axe. I, I'm just guessing. I thought it was going to like show it in a flashy manner or something. I want you to gather me some herbs. I'm sure you know, ra or know how, right? No? The character's saying yes, but no? By the way, the mayor probably told you. An accident in the past killed off many of our native plants. Garden gloves. Yeah, that's a pretty, that's a pretty likely option. I know I've been wearing them all along, but, you know, maybe. If only people from the capital worked responsibly, tragedies like that wouldn't happen. Ah, it's gonna push that whole subtle... Subtle environmental message that uh, a lot of JRPGs actually used to. Um, like the Tales of series does that a lot. Um, Final Fantasy also does that a lot. Uh, kind of. Um, there's usually the whole like we have to protect the planet environmentally. The real bad guy was the destruction of nature along the way. And the final boss. Let's see. Only the capital worked responsibly. Tragedies like that wouldn't happen. Uh, like what? No one's told me anything. Oops, me and my big mouth. You've told me nothing. You've told me nothing. Once you're done, head back to my cottage. I'll see you there. You know, the cottage I was just rummaging around in. And do we summon Captain Planet? We are Captain Planet. Thanks for the follow, sweet crescendo. Alright, that's all for now. Good luck out there, chemist. Oh, he gave us a sickle, I guess. Uh, swing your tools at gathering points to forge resources. Gathering points are indicated by glowing sparks. Stamina is consumed each time you use a tool. So there's stamina. Okay, I guess it's that blue lightning. I can actually see the sickle up in the top left-hand corner. Uh, make sure to use the correct tool to gather resources. You can switch between sickle, hammer, and axe. We give us multiple tools. <laughs> you can avoid attacks by dodge rolling, uh, as you can see with me face planting there. <laughs> All right, let's see. Well, that's an obvious goal. How do I? Okay, it's square button. And I'm guessing the axe is how I fight. Oh, slime. Multiple tiny slimes. 
Uh, the hammer, I'm assuming, is for rocks. Okay, I got some rocks from that. I don't know what the exclamation mark is actually pointing me towards right now. Now let's take this out. Nope. Axe. There we go. Give me the... Did I just hurt the dog? This kind of looks like it did. Okay. Oh, he's hungry. How do I feed him? Right trigger. Oh, okay. Um, right trigger. Interact with button. My morning is pretty good. Er, yeah, my morning is going pretty well, actually. Uh, how about yours? Um, as you can see, I'm playing Potion Permit. <laughs> uh, we started a few minutes ago. Uh, so we're still in the very early stages of the game, figuring out how to do things. Uh, your dog will occasionally tell you how he feels. You can use this. You can see this by the emoticon sometimes shown above his head. In other words, he's hungry. You'll need to whistle for your dog before interacting with him, but you won't be able to whistle for him when he's too far away. Uh, your dog loves food and loves to be petted. By feeding and petting your dog, your bond with him will start to grow. He is a loyal and helpful pet, especially when you develop a close bond. Uh, feed. I guess I'm feeding the dog apple juice. Here you go. <laughs> um, I'll whistle for him again, interact again, and pet. The dog doesn't like me very much, does he? <laughs> This flower. Okay, I just... Apparently I was just completely blanking on the task list there. It shows it very clearly what I have to do, and I'm just like, Oh, what do I have to do? I don't get it. I'm just gonna interact with random things instead of paying attention to the fact that I have to collect several basil, jasmine, and daisies. Ourselves a mushroom. So the exclamation mark is probably just indicating that this entire area is what my goal is, I'm assuming. I probably shouldn't spend all my time collecting rocks. But I guess that's what I'm doing anyway. <laughs> Let's see... Oh, it's actually leaving markers on my map about uh, where the resources are. Potion sleep to crime, but I'll survive. I've never played Potion Permit, it looks really cute. It does look really cute, actually. Um, there's a demo on Steam if you want to try it. Um, it, the, it officially came out, uh, I think, a couple weeks ago. Very recently, at least. Um, it does. It does very. It does very much look cute. Yeah. Uh, my roommate was playing it before on the demo, which is kind of a piqued my interest for it. Let's see. Bitter tasting sap. I've already wasted most of the day here, just doing not much of anything. <laughs> Harvesting random resources. Okay, let's see if we can find the rest of these things we need. Jasmine, basil, and we've got the daisies already. Warning, path closed due to landslide. Okay. Oh. Lots of different monsters here. And that's our basil. I see a mossy rock there from the look of it. So that's probably special. So we'll take out our hammer and smash. I guess we're not smashing that rock. <laughs> it's considering it's giving the tutorial about how we can't do it. Oh. I guess we can, it's just more challenging. We'll collect an extra basil just in case. Dodge roll past the slime. Let's see where the other plants are. At least it indicates like what things I can collect with sparkles and stuff. Oh, Meadow Range Experiment, Day 1. I, Dr. Samuel, have been appointed the lead of the research team for this area. Moonberry's soil is indeed very unique. The Meadow Range area is extremely green and boasts a great deal of unique vegetation. I have observed many trees and animals thriving in this beautiful ecosystem. 
We are planning to take some soil samples and attempt to study the soil's reactions. If we succeed in this research, this will be a big step forward for our capital and Moonberry citizens. The land's fertility will increase, and vegetation will grow faster. I think they failed. We will do all we can to see our mission through. Page missing. Page missing. Page missing. Page missing. Yeah, they definitely failed that. <laughs> That's... a bear. Uh, is this the plant we need? Can we cut it faster? <laughs> is the bear just going to ignore me? Oh, that that is not ignoring me. That is like a... Oh, lots of bears coming up now. Okay. So we found lemon balm, but we haven't found the actual thing we need. It's a grown man out for blood. <laughs> Dodge past the bear. Are we really not going to find any jasmine? Am I just blind? I need to check the map, actually. If I can remember how. Select button. Okay. Uh, okay, so there's this path here I haven't done yet. That explains it. It's hidden behind that tree. So the jasmine's probably up here. But instead I'm just finding mushrooms. This is probably the jasmine. If you run out of stamina, you won't be able to use any tools. Your running speed will also be decreased. That sounds dangerous. Eating the consumables in your bag will recover stamina. Stamina will also be recovered by sleeping at home or having a bath in the Willow Waters bathhouse. Um, they do not seem comfortable by the fact that I... <laughs> Look, top right hand corner seems really uncomfortable with the fact that I'm in the bath with them. <laughs> This is what I get for being the only man in the woman's bath. <laughs> okay, let's see. Got to sell some jasmine. Actually, I'm wondering if these pictures change if you play as a female character. <laughs> It'd be really funny if it's just like... <laughs> showing off. <laughs> the, it's like, hey, here's your female character in the men's bath. Oh, that actually kind of worked for... Oh, I... Need to get back to the post in the next one hour in game. It's in the woman's bath. It is our bath, comrade. Yes, the communal bath. Of which I will be the only man entering, of course. You know, not for any specific reason. It's definitely not like some sort of inappropriate logic. <laughs> Oh no, I'm working up a sweat by going down this path. Come on, let's get there quickly. There we go. Oh, I guess it's just gonna dump us here immediately. Hello again, forest. Forest ranger. Ranger forest. Did you find everything I asked for? Good job. I have to admit, I'm surprised. Why? You know what they say, can't spell USSR without US, baby girl. Without us, baby girl. Uh, now that you've completed your first task, I've got a new one for you. Okay. Find Zhao, he'll be waiting for you at the town hall. Considering the time, I don't think he will be, though. <laughs> you know where the town hall is, right? No. Is it beside the bulletin board? It's not. It's probably towards the back of the town then. Don't keep him waiting. Do you mean by being up with him? Oh. I have to get used to how loud and sudden those notifications are. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm far too late to meet up with Shao today. Uh, but let's actually see if we can find out where the uh, town hall is while we've got time. This is a dead end here, I guess. I keep wanting to like find a sprint button, but there isn't one. 
does kind of have that feel of Ragnarok Online, doesn't it? It's got the kind of aesthetic to it. Ah, here's the town hall. That was actually pretty easy. Closed on Sundays. The fact that they're open on Saturdays means they're a little bit more than most town halls in general, anyway. Oh, there's a fishing spot. Moonbury Park. Oh, it's the pirate guy. The chemist from the capital. Uh, <clears throat> Actually, I can't do the pirate voice. We've learned that with Limsol and Son, Final Fantasy XIV. The chemist from the capital. Uh, show me what you got. This is some very noisy ducks. Okay, we can't collect these. I can't use my weapons in town. What's over here? Vulcan build! I can go in even though they're closed. Hello there, uh, Yasuo... Yeah, Yasuoka VT. Welcome to the stream. Lots of people checking me out playing perma uh, potion permits tonight, it seems. Um, let's see... Oh! Rainer. Uh, everyone's calling you a chemist. Hope you can prove it. Let's see how many of these people have actually officially met now. Uh, let's see, let's see. No one. I've officially met no one. <laughs> I've talked to them all. I haven't met them. Even the mayor isn't on the list, and he's been in multiple cutscenes. So I'm guessing I have to do like an actual event for them to unlock that list. Like have an actual friendship rating with them. Yeah, there's still no events currently, because they're still pretty early in the game. Uh, let's see, let's see. I'm just rummaging people's houses now. This is that person that was freaked out about the fact that I was in the bath in the uh, tutorial preview thing, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm just sitting here at her makeup desk. Security cams, yes, of course. She probably sells clothing, I imagine. Uh, this is probably a restaurant. Nope, this is just Xiao's house. It wasn't subtle. It's really not subtle. Oh, is that a blacksmith? Runehart. You're just a spo- er, you're just a spoiled- er. Nope, I can't do that voice. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice game so far. It, it's very cute. I like the aesthetic of it. Um, we'll see how well I actually play it. But, uh, it's definitely a very early work in progress, for me, at least. Uh, but the game seems nice. Uh, I guess that person doesn't approve of my skills as a chemist. That's not saying much, considering I've done literally nothing so far to prove them. Uh, oh, that noises me, by the way. Moonbury Beach. Why do they suddenly have palm trees? And a ruined boat? Okay, is that a graveyard? Some creepy guy lurking in the graveyard. Uh, oh, there's a pier. They sell food here as well, I guess. Actually, I probably should get home. I don't know how it's gonna work for the end of the day in game, but I... Oh! That's the Anno. You're not savvy, matey. Do your job properly. Oh, so she has a pirate accent as well. And this does, in fact, confirm that it is a she. Also, hook hand. Uh, what is your sign, Gravekeeper Man? And can I touch your heart? <laughs> uh, let's find out if we can actually find our home. Stardew Valley is maybe paranoid about, like, if it reaches 2 a.m., you're going to pass out. I'm... Going too far from my home, aren't I? I think I've already passed where it would be. Or, nope, there's my home. Don't know why the pirate man is lurking outside of it, but okay. We're gonna go to bed before anything bad happens. With our really, really trash furniture. He's looking for booty. I mean, fair, he definitely is. 
let's go greet Xiao. We've got the time at least. In fact, arguably we've got too much time. Uh, let's see. We're not going to go in the tavern now. Probably should have gone in the tavern earlier, actually. Uh, would have been able to meet some characters there, perhaps. Oh, the town hall door is actually locked. The other buildings haven't actually been locked when they've been closed, so that kind of comes as a surprise. There's Xiao. Please be more diligent in your duties as our chemist. Wow, rude. <laughs> and there's Runard again. Who's still not approving. Opal Heart. I'm assuming the grandmother. Well, let's uh, wait for an hour in game, I guess. And here's Mayor Mayor. I hope your chemist methods work, Raylan TV. Truly, please don't disappoint me. I guess the question mark is because I'm blocking their path. Alright, so we've got to wait a few minutes until we can actually get in there. Uh, what's down here? Ah, the... If this is the blacksmith, why were they heading up north? Thank you. I'm glad you like my voice. Or is that a reaction to my <laughs> attempt at the mayor's voice? <laughs> I think we're probably about ready for the town hall to open up. There we go. Could be both. Fair, fair. Uh, you're here, so you passed the first test with flying colors. It only took me... two days, I guess. It looks like I'll have to raise my expectations a little. Yes, raise your expectations, I say, with a slime nod. Allow me, to er, allow me to introduce you to Runehart. So, you're the chemist. That I am. I've asked Runehart to repair the cauldron in your house. Okay, so she deals, she deals with the uh, repairs of the stuff in my house, then? I guess? Let's head over there together now. How expensive is this going to be? Also, that lingering shot has me a little concerned, but... I guess not. So, this is the rusty old thing that needs a fix-up? That's right. Can you do it? Piece of cake. One swing of the hammer and it's done. Four swings of the hammer and it's done. Also filled it with water. <laughs> She's all ready for you. Sounds like a pony name. I mean, I can kind of see that. Uh, well, that's me done. Take good care of her, will ya? Well, now you've got yourself a working cauldron. Let's make some potions. I'm sure that won't be a problem. You are a chemist after all, right? Um... Um, am I? <laughs> if you need more materials, you'll find plenty of resources around Meadow Range. Once you're done, you can meet me at the town hall. Xiao is snarky and snazzy, yes. I don't think he approves of my currently untested skills and... Cauldron unlocked. Let's see. The cauldron is the main tool you use to brew potions. To start creating a potion, you will need a potion recipe. You can also upgrade your cauldron to increase its capacities. Okay. So we need to make one of these. Each potion has a different puzzle-shaped piece that needs to be filled in. Uh, mix and match. All right, have a good sleep. Uh, thank you for joining the stream. <laughs> Uh, mix and match puzzle pieces using the materials available to you. Place puzzle pieces that do not fit the required shape. Or placing puzzle pieces that don't fit or is not allowed, obviously. Uh, some potion recipes have restrictions on the ingredients you can use. Follow the instruction carefully to start brewing. Uh, the circle frame next to the cauldron indicates the maximum quantity of materials you can use. 
If you exceed the maximum amount, you won't be able to start brewing. Well, it's five, which seems like a lot, but we'll actually see what we can use. Um, okay. I feel like I do not have... Oh, it's bumper to switch. Okay, okay. In that case... This isn't working too well. Okay, stick this here. And this here. And our one sap there. Why not? And we've got our neutralizing herbal bomb. Craft four times to unlock. Okay, let's just collect it. Wound cleanser. A cream-like potion with a strong cooling effect and powerful antibacterial properties. It's good for bruises. Okay, here's a bottom corner. And the top corner. Actually, this isn't going to work, is it? Uh, two of these will work. Ta-da! I like how the slimes I ended up defeating are end up being more useful than the plants I collected. Wound cleanser. All right, done. We've got our materials, and now we're gonna go talk to Xiao again. Uh, not much time has actually passed. It's been ten in-game minutes. Uh, over here... They really need to do better with the upkeep of the town. Let's put our dog. Petting TV. Small increase. You probably just spend an entire in-game day petting the dog until he's completely favorable to you. Are you done with my request? Or yeah. Are you done with my request? Well, well, not bad, Raylan TV. I guess the medical association really have sent us a decent chemist this time. We haven't had one around here since the accident. Anyway. Is no one going to explain the accident to me? Really? You keep hinting at it, at least explain it so I can avoid it. I shall put together a report for Mayor. I'm sure he'll be pleased. The Mayor's expecting a lot of you, Raylan TV. That's all for today. We'll continue tomorrow. Okay, let's interact with the showers, I guess. Please be more diligent in your duties as our chemist. But I did the mission you asked. <laughs> is that the mayor? I guess it is. Is... What kind of animal is that? It looks like a... I kind of want to say a dog, but this doesn't feel right. A dog wearing, like, armor and stuff? Moonstone. Okay. So I guess these are different collectibles I gather over time. And there's the mayor. I hope your chemist methods work, Raylan TV. Truly, do not disappoint me. Okay. Yeah, that's about what I expected from the mayor again. What's this bulletin board? Currently unavailable. Dev. As in, like... The game dev? <laughs> sure is difficult to trust a chemist. Work harder. What other work is there for me to do? There's nothing. Oh, that person is also kind of piratey. Well, they got the anchor tattoo at least. Chemist, right? Show me you're good enough and then we'll speak. No one likes me. Let's head out into the wilderness and collect some stuff, I guess. How much I can do aside from that? We'll just purge every bit of life from the forest in the meantime. Oh, no loading screen this time. 
I see the resources kind of replenished a bit. Uh, right, I keep, gotta keep remembering it's a square button. Get ourselves some rocks. People love drinking rocks. And defeat the slime, because that's been useful so far. Up. Oh. Keep forgetting they split into multiples. Let's harvest a mushroom as well. And smash this tree. As is tradition, we've got to collect all the resources we can. Oh, I've got to defeat that slime. I wonder what we get from defeating the bear. We'll have to check that out. some iron ore as well. I suspect the iron ore is probably going to be used for tool upgrades because I haven't seen um, I don't recall seeing it in a list of resources I could drop into the pot. The cauldron rather. Oh that's a big tree I can cut down I imagine. Uh, let's see. Sickle. And now we're going to try to cut down the big tree. See if we get anything special from it. Chop, 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 chop. Oh, tasteless sap. Okay. Kind of tasteless to give me that, isn't it? <laughs> Probably better than the bitter tasting sap. As bitter as that bad joke was. Okay. Let's try fighting some bears. I know they're over here. Oh. Also got these mushroom-esque guys. Oh, the bear's going down pretty smoothly, actually. Bear claw and honey. Oh, we're gonna hit two trees at once. Nice. But yeah, I feel like the bears are gonna be a pretty good resource. <laughs> as long as I don't die fighting them. It uh, doesn't seem to be working too well through that tree, the fallen tree there. Okay, the automatic or the the, the resources are automatically harvested, which is nice. Oh, the dog wants a bone. Uh, I guess I'll just feed it. Um, a mushroom. All right, I guess that worked. And now for more lemon balm, which takes up way too much stamina. <laughs> and another slime. I should probably try using the hammer on those. Or any other weapon, really. Why is that rock vibrating? Path's still closed due to landslide. Let's fight these real quick. Okay, the sickle does work. Doesn't seem to be any real difference in the damage, I guess. The range might be slightly different, but we'll find that out. At least we've got plenty of resources we can collect, which means we'll have some more for later. I don't recall if I completely explored here or not for that goal. I kind of rushed back the moment I got everything I needed for, uh, for the forest earlier on the first day. Uh, okay, I didn't go up here. And there's another bear. Perfect. Aha! Dodged you! some jasmine. We'll get some uh, spores here real quick. Okay, this is just a slam down. So the hammer is going to be a bit s more difficult to use for fighting, I guess. Oh, almost out of stamina entirely. 
Okay, time to go home before I run out of that last sliver of stem that I've got sticking around there. Alright. Uh, Rushing back. Oh, I've just realized it's got uh, lots of resources on the top there. Uh, 500 gold, which I'm not sure where that came from. Uh, 34 logs and 32 stones. Are those for building later? Okay, we'll find it out tomorrow, I guess. I'm just gonna head back to bed and half shall chastise me when I wake up in the morning. There we go, the night is setting in. I'm trying to drop in the tavern first. Okay, that, her name is Martha, I guess. Uh, I don't know if it's okay to talk to you right now. Everyone has told me not to. There's Opal Heart again. The mayor. What's in this room? I don't recall going in here. Nothing. Should I check out the arcade to see if there's more games? Oh. Didn't see this person before. Sorry, sweetie pie. Let's have a drink after you show me you're for real. Okay, I can't play with her, I guess. Judging by your reputation, you aren't worth my time. Oh yeah? Well, what if I beat this game? Again. Tutorial. Yep. Okay. See if I can get the high score. No, oh, nope, that's already a fail. Okay, okay. Pirate one. Can't smash the ribbon one, of course. Nope. Oh, yeah, that's not gonna be a good score. Yeah, that's not the top of the leaderboards, but, you know. Oh, I'm still at the top for some reason. These listings changed compared to how they were yesterday, though. Also, my score isn't at the top there, but... I mean, my score isn't a top score, but it is at the top of the list. I'm assuming that's a bug, because I've never gotten a score better than the actual top one. Okay, time to go to bed, I guess, because there's not much else to do today in game. I'm curious how the friendships in this game work, though. Because um, the obvious thing is, like, is there a romance option in the game? Because games like Stardew Valley or whatnot um, usually end up having you marry someone at the end, or at some point if you want, but uh, that's loud. There hasn't been any indication of that yet in this, but uh, we're still pretty early on. Raylan TV! Rue's back! We've taken her to the empty clinic! Why would you take her to the least sanitary building in the entire town? Come quickly, follow me! Okay. I'm guessing that's the witch doctor who's angrily shaking his fist. Meyer, Mayor Raylan. Here she is. Would you please check her over? Who is this? What are you doing here? Mateo, this is Raylan Tiwi. The com Wow, that's... I think I've changed his voice a little bit there. Mateo, this is Raylan Tiwi. The chemist from the capital. Raylan TV, this is Mateo, Moonberry's witch doctor. What is the meaning of this? You brought someone over from the capital. Mateo, let's discuss this later. First, you have to explain what happened to Rue. Angry fist shaking. <laughs> we still don't know what's wrong with her. I tried everything I could think, but it wasn't enough. Raylan TV, is there anything you can do? Please help my daughter. 
Sure, I have no medical experience at all. My neck feels weird. Oh, okay. Interesting. Whenever an unknown symptom appears on a patient's body, you will identify it first through diagnosis. Once you've performed the diagnostic successfully, uh, you will know which disease the patient has. Okay. The goal of this minigame is to press the input that appears, landing on the right input and within the hit box. You will lose progress bar points if you press the wrong input, so we can get a game over by failing this, perhaps? Uh, your performance during the minigame will affect the patient's satisfaction level. Okay. The challenge is on. It's a, it's a rhythm game now. I don't know how I missed that, but whatever. Success! Oh. I don't... I don't know how that went, but whatever. Will she be alright? The sunworm symptom? Yes, that's one of the symptoms, but the disease is far more complicated than we thought. You want to help? I won't let that happen. We shouldn't use any unnatural drugs on Rue. But it might help my daughter. Please, do anything you deem necessary for her sake, right, Lynn TV? Rue is still weak, Mayor. My advice is that we should use our traditional methods to find a cure. Using unnatural drugs from the capital might have side effects we are unaware of. But if they care, my daughter. Besides, Redland TV can only use ingredients available on the island to cure her. If that's what you think is best, dear. Do you really believe that? If you mess this up, you'll pay the price. Do whatever you can for her, Redland TV, please. Nodding slime. Craft Moonbrine. Can I see any other diagnosis stuff? Is it just the neck? Okay. I guess the satisfaction is currently top level. What's that emergency alert there? Right above uh, the date for Thursday? It's got like that whirling siren thing, so I guess it's something I need to deal with immediately. Moonbrine. That's a new recipe. A strong mixture that kills the germs and bacteria that cause sunworms. But he already tried to treat sunworm. Well, whatever. Stick that there. And our one piece goes in here. And our slime goes there, and here. Actually, there's no reason to waste... Actually, I get plenty of slime, so there's no reason to actually care. Start brewing. Moonbrine! Of course, dealing with sunworms requires moonbrine. We have to go into our super, super dirty clinic. And treat her injury with Moonbrine. Health acquired! Treatment complete. Satisfaction maxed! Thank you. I can't wait to get back home to Papa.
gotta do all these voices again. <laughs> Rue, my dear, are you feeling any better? Yes, I think so. Thank goodness! Oh, my little girl, you're finally cured. Do you feel strange at all, Rue? No, Mama, I've never felt so good. Thank you, chemist. We are profoundly in your debt. I'm glad to hear that. But you, what exactly was in that bottle? I don't know, I threw like a rock in it or something. You must have given her some suspicious stuff. Like a rock, some slime, some tree sap. There's no way she could have been cured this fast. No, this is pretty normal. Still lying, I see. I'll expose your little scheme. Now, now, Mateo! Raylan TV is here to help Rue. Why can't we work together to find a solution? But this kid's from the capital. <laughs> have you forgotten what they did to our island? I took a train to arrive on the island, by the way. Logic. <laughs> Certainly not, but times have changed. After all, I'm the one asking for help. You're just too impatient, Mayo. We tried all sorts of methods to cure her, but nothing worked. And if change can make everyone's lives better, who am I to refuse it? I'm disappointed in you. If my commitment to this community means nothing to you, feel free to ask this capital lackey for assistance. Just don't you come running to me for help. Bye. It's alright. He seems to be such a pleasant chap. I'm afraid he seems to have taken a dislike to you. He is a very idealistic person. Mariel, you'd be able to be off home to let Rue get some rest. Alright, darling. Have a good rest, dear. Take her to an actual proper bed in a clean facility. This is a terrible, terrible place for any medical treatments. Since Rue will be in the clinic for a while, please keep an eye on her. You're leaving her here? Really? And I shall send a letter to the Medical Association about your accomplishments. I'm sure they'll be happy to know how things are progressing. Yeah, probably, but they also seem kind of like rivals, so we'll see how that goes. Well, I think we're done here. I shall see you again soon. I feel like the voice I was doing for the mayor has changed gradually over time, but I'm not sure. I can't interact with her, obviously, but it's also 7 a.m., so... Um, no new tasks for the day, just... Gonna... I don't know, collect more resources? Do the townspeople still hate me? That's a genuine question. Whose house is this? Nova's house. Well, Nova's clearly not home. Is that like a picture of a zombie? And what even is this picture? It looks kind of like an angry mechanized bird man to me. I don't know what it's supposed to be though. Okay, let's see what else we can do around town. Apparently they made 150 gold just from healing the... Uh, healing the uh, mayor's daughter, but... I, uh... Okay, nothing's changed. Martha's still reacting the exact same. Oh! Apparently they're interacting. Don't forget to stay hydrated. 
Thanks for the reminder. Sorry, sweetie pie. Let's have a drink after you show me your, what your or show me your real. Uh, oh, they're just repeating the same conversation about being hydrated, aren't they? Are there any other tasks I can do today aside from just harvesting materials? No. Time's just desperately harvest materials instead, then I guess. But what's to the south? Oh, bunny rabbit. I gotta go check that out. I mean, obviously, right? I mean, check out these bunny ears. There's no, way, there's no way I could avoid this. What's going on here? Well, well, chemist. The nature on this island is brutal. You should work harder. You say it's brutal, but you're currently just here hand-feeding carrots to a bunny. I can't really take your word for it. What's down here? Just the train tracks and the train being completely idle. Does this train ever leave? It looks very static right now. So let's check the map. Oh, what's Hannah's house? Oh, I haven't been to his house yet. Well, so apparently there's just a bunch of houses along the train tracks that I will never see. But, uh, let's go check out Mateo's house, I guess. Uh, he should be around this way. Nope. South, I guess. Down this way. Let's see. How much does this man hate me? Wow, his house is in also... Well, this house isn't too bad. He's got a functioning clinic, at least. Unlike us. Oh, dog wants food. Of course it does. Let's feed you. I know you're starving, apparently. Alright, they made it happy. Now to pet it again. Apparently I can also send it to fetch NPCs for me, but I don't know how that function works. I imagine that's something I'll probably get some testing for later on. But uh, for now, it's not really necessary. Should check on the map again. Okay. Oh, there's different. I guess the number is probably the tier of fishing spot. Like there's different fishing levels. I'm assuming. Primrose Sale. Okay. Church, farmhouse. Oh, there's the bathhouse. Apparently the tier 2 fishing spot is just behind our house. Uh, yeah. It's showing all the resources you can collect on the map over here. Obviously you still can't get everywhere here. But it's a good opportunity to collect more materials while we still have the chance. Before things get really serious and actually challenging. Because I'm assuming currently it's starting to us off really easily and then it's going to be like a really slippery slope to the point where the timed missions start failing on us. Okay. One slime, two slime. Red slime, blue slime. Do a lot of cutting at least. Get a lot of these resources I can't do anything with yet until the town actually likes me. Collect this. Oh, hello, slime. Shadow boxing. Okay. I'm wondering what the next goal is actually going to be. I'm trying to prepare for it now, but like... It's kind of hard to do that when I don't know what I'll actually need. Or how most of these potions actually work. <laughs> kind of buffed my way through it so far. Just like a professional doctor. <laughs> oh, getting some sap there. 
I find it funny that the slimes are the most useful resources I've had so far. As far as like what I've actually been putting into potions. A couple rocks as well, I think. Not yet, I don't think, actually. Uh, let's go back up to the bear spot over here. Let's see. Also, these mushroom things here. Mushroom buns, I guess. Dropping spores. And here's our angry bear. It's surprisingly easy to actually defeat this. I thought there'd be more challenge to that, but apparently not. Okay, apparently the axe does not like hitting that rock. Oh, that's the wrong button. Let's smash the rock slowly. Copper nugget. Okay, that's new. Probably again used for upgrading my resources, I imagine. We can actually check that pretty easily, can't we? Because of the button I pressed accidentally earlier. Uh, let's see. Oh, it looks like it's an actual material for crafting. Not for crafting, like for crafting potions, I mean. As is the iron. So does that mean the rocks and stone... So it was the iron that I was seeing instead of stone on the page. And the issue is, I don't know what the stone and wood are for up the top there. I mean, I obviously need them for later, but I don't know to what extent. Anyway... Let's... I keep pressing the wrong button. More mushrooms to feed the dog for later. And I don't think I've collected very many of these up here. That I'm blanking the name of right now. Basil. Yes. I don't think I've collected too many of those. Okay, spores, basil. It's pretty merciful with what you can actually craft with, though. Um. It feels like usually in these crafting kinds of games, you need like a very specific niche resource that's hidden in some deep dungeon that you have to kind of rush towards. But these are just sort of like, because they're sort of like Tetris piece shaped per material, you can kind of wiggle in whatever you need, depending on what the actual requirements are. Obviously, I'm not very far in the game, so I can't attest to how it is later on. But it feels very merciful so far in regards to like what the actual options are. Because that's kind of an issue you usually have with crafting games in general. Um, it requires like niche resources that require a long time to get, or like really grindy to actually get. And so far, it's still early in the game obviously, but it's managing to avoid that by the way the crafting system is handled. Uh, it might be different later on where it requires like a very specific niche piece to do because of the way the potion set or the way the puzzle set up um but so far i'd say i'm okay with it it seems to be a good system right time for sleep progress to a new day and with our one broken lamp post in front of our place are they ever gonna fix the town I really need to replace these. I keep reading how loud that is. Let's see what my task of the day is. Good morning. Some people from the Medical Association have arrived at the town hall. They want to discuss something with you. I think I tell you, I did a good job and pet me on the head and called me a good boy. <laughs> Would you please follow me? How could you heal her without charging her anything? They all backed up. 
There you are. I wasn't expecting you to be able to cure the mayor's daughter so fast. I must say, we were rather surprised at your achievements. I have brought you all here simply to discuss what's next. Yes, I'm aware of that. Could you give us a little more explanation? Yeah, you've been very vague with all of this. As you're aware, you all come and successfully cured my daughter. But now I have realized that what happened to Rue could happen to any of my citizens. Our knowledge here is very limited. Well, that's what you get when you cut off yourself from all of the technology of the mainland. <laughs> that is precisely why we need a person like you, Raylan TV. We're going to upgrade your house for several thousand gold. Instead of, you know, giving me an actual livable living space. To assist us with your knowledge. If I am not asking too much of you, I would like you to uh, I would like your permission to let Raylan TV help us for a while. I mean, was that not why I was here? So we can exchange our knowledge. And strengthen the bond between Mundari and the capital. Yeah, that's fine. Of course, Mayor. Our association would be glad to assist you. This cooperation could be a stepping stone for both of us. Our priority is helping as many places as we can to stay safe and healthy. Raylan TV can stay here for as long as you need. Um, can I not go home? Please? There's rats in that house. I officially grant my permission for the Medical Association's representative to reside and work in Moonbury. And I, as a delegate of the Medical Association, give Raylan TV a mandate to help the citizens of Moonbury starting from today. Do you mean starting from like two or three days ago? Well, this important task is now on your shoulders. Go and do what you do best. Wow, congratulations! Well, you must excuse us. We have a train to catch. It's been sitting out there waiting for you for like the last two days. I think there's not a problem for the wait time. And a report to write about this milestone. Hmm, it's going to be a long report. Why? I might leave it to you, Moira. Come on, Colin. It's your job. Don't be so childish. Stop bickering, you two. We need to get going. Best of luck, Raylan TV. Don't you let us and Moonbury down. Now, since you're officially staying here with us, we should discuss our next steps. He says, taking several steps. I greatly appreciate the, all the effort you put in for Ru. My wife and I will be forever grateful. I shall need to make some major changes in order to prevent such a disease taking hold in Moonberry. Maybe by fixing up the clinic first. Did you see how unsanitary that place is? It's a mess! But, as you know, not all of Moonberry residents are fond of people like you. People from the capital. No one likes me except for you, Mayor. And Rue, I guess, perhaps. And in order to take health er in order to make changes to healthcare here, we need to start changing their perspectives. We will need to work extra hard to bring them around. Some of them may be stubborn, but I assure you they are good people. Why don't you introduce yourself around the town? I've been trying to, but no one will talk to me. I'm sure they'll start to warm to you once they know who you are. They know who I am. They don't want to talk to me. <laughs> Trust reflects how well you've perceived as a chemist in Boone Murray. The thumbs up icon indicates your current position of trust in the community. Oh, that's going to end badly. Having a thumbs down icon will affect the way all the villagers treat you. 
Ooh, that sounds like it's gonna be really bad. I can totally see failing one mission, having a citizen die, and just having everyone hate me for the rest of the game. They won't talk to you, and they won't be able to trigger any events around town. That sounds like a soft lock for the game. You can gain trust points by successfully treating villagers who need help. Failing all the treatments will lose you trust points. I really need to rush for recipes then. My name is Mayor. It's easy to remember since I'm also the Mayor. I look forward to witnessing your amazing skill as a chemist. Yeah, I figured that out the first time you said your name, Mayor. Chemist, how can I help you? I'm Xiao. I manage everything to do with community requests. I can assist you by posting them outside the town hall. Everyone is doing their best for this town. I'm grateful that I'm not alone. Oh. So there's an actual friendship gauge I can give gifts. And talking to people for friendships doesn't decrease my stamina. Very nice. Yep, no one in this town has manners. Goodbye. Okay, let's see what else is going on. Big access to those posters there. Oh. Here's Helene. Helen with an E at the end. Hello, sweetheart. I'm Helene. Helen? Helene. If you're into games, we've got some at the arcade center. Let's see. <sighs> Those arcade machines. I clean them just so they can get dirty again. Okay, it's pretty early in the morning in game right now, I just realized. How much time has actually passed? So I'm gonna have a hard time actually meeting people to interact with. Okay, the police station is apparently still locked. Let's go greet the forest rangers then. They should be around. I imagine. Hey, I'm Bubble, one of Moonberry's rangers. Our duty is to watch for any trouble happening outside this town. Don't worry, I haven't spotted anything dangerous recently. Yeah, I can tell you were like petting bunnies and stuff. Have you seen the giant bears in Meadow Range? They're cute, right? I love their fur and claws. I've got several of their claws. <clears throat> hey, chemist. Do you need some help? Forrest. Nice to meet you. Feel free to ask me anything about the wild. Yeah, we've met before, Forrest. I'm well aware of your name. Good day, chemist. Heading out? Don't forget to bring some supplies with you. Okay, let's go harass Mateo. I'm sure he will not appreciate me being there. Which is perfect. Over here and inside. He sure is sleeping peacefully. He's behind his bed now. Uh, or is it Mateo? Whatever. I'm gonna keep calling him Mateo. I'm Mateo, the one. Or, I'm Mateo, the one and only witch doctor in Moonbury. Mayor told me about you. He was very naive to bring you here. You should get going. I have nothing more to discuss with you. That improved his friendship. Well, back into town. We're gonna greet four more people, apparently. Until something happens. Not sure what. Should we go see if we can actually interact with the mayor's daughter in the clinic? Maybe she's not trapped in bed now? We'll find out. Also, the police station's probably open now. Dean's kinda pudgy. New face! I'm Dean, a police officer here in Moonbury. Did you bring any snacks from the capital? Please let me have some. Wow, I didn't think my pudgy comment would be relevant so quickly. Don't tell my twin brother, Derek, though. Hey, you. Do you like sweets? 
If you know any good recipes, share them with me. Okay? I really didn't expect it to go that quickly. <laughs> okay, obviously no new news at the moment. Let's go up to our house. Is Rue still in our clinic bed? We will find out momentarily. She is not. I guess she scampered out of here as quickly as she could. The question is, where is she hiding instead? Okay, it doesn't show NBCs on the map. Oh. Chemist, I'm Osman, the chief of police. Remember, I'm watching you. I didn't talk to him for friendship. As a law enforcer, I'm required to be strict and disciplined at all times. This, There will never be an excuse for me to slack off. He says, feeding the ducks. <laughs> sure there won't be, Osman. Olive's house. No one here. Okay, let's check out the bath. We haven't gone up there yet. Oh, also the fishing spot. Someone in town is also painting, apparently. Uh, let's see. Oh, another dumpster. Okay, so this place should be open. Oh, cutscene. So the owner was the other person in the, uh, the tutorial picture for this. Oh. Hoping to have a bath, are you? Willow Waters Bathhouse isn't nearly as fancy as bathhouses in the capital, I'm sure. But it's all this island has. Feel free to go in. Just don't make a mess. I'm tired of cleaning this place over and over. It's a bathhouse. I'm the bathhouse owner, Olive. You should get cleaned up. You get dirty walking around this town. I, I wouldn't be surprised, considering how run down it is. If by any chance you're heading back to the capital, please let me know. Why? Oh. Do you want to take a bath? The bath takes two hours. No? Who's this person? Greetings, I'm Cassandra, co-owner of Moonbury's Bathhouse, and the chief of police's wife. But he was sleeping alone in bed. So where do you sleep? I hope Osmond doesn't treat you harshly. He doesn't like strangers. I'd like to come up with an innovative new soap or bath soap recipe. Snowberry, perhaps? Hmm, maybe not. Also, her eyes are just really misplaced on her face right now. Right back to the town hall, I guess. Let's go to the farmhouse first. I, I can't deny being curious about this. His name is Luck. You must be the new chemist. You're from the capital, right? Don't worry, I've got no problem with you being here. This is Moonberry's farmhouse. We sell a range of dairy products. And apparently meat, I guess, because it's just sitting out there unrefrigerated. Everything we sell here is homegrown. You should try some of our products. They're great. Hmm, is there something you want, stranger? Stop looking at me like that. That old timer has a name as Garrett. Hey, what do you want? If you've nothing better to do. Mm -hmm. Hello, you can call me Mercy. Life must be boring if you live alone. Luckily, I have my family. Being a housewife is not easy. Taking care of the family and tending to the housework is tough. It's not for everyone. Can I go behind the counter? I can. No, why not? Open. 
We've got a big place back here. Let's go upstairs, I guess. Oh no, our doggo is hungry. Again. Alright, I'll go outside and feed it, I guess. Dodging around all of you. Doggo! Eat this mushroom. Didn't like it much that time. And pet. Okay, let's see what other houses we've got around. Derek's house. I see one of these brothers actually works out. The other one does noticeably not as much so. Oh, cat! So its name was Kebab, but it's apparently Kips. There's a tag on the cat's collar. It says Kips. This cat belongs to Zeke. He's to not feed. She has food allergy. Like it does not speak, but it does befriend itself to me more. It's a really ruined fountain. I should fix that. This is probably Derek. Nope, that's Dean again. Mayor's wife. Good day to you, Raylan TV. If anyone is rude to you, don't take it personally. Hope you like this simple town. I've baked far too many cookies lately. I do hope Mayor and Rue can eat them all. Up to the town hall first floor. So, you've met Moonberry residents. Great! Now, let's discuss the most important part, shall we? You might have seen that some of them aren't yet welcoming you with the open arms. There is a reason for that. Are you finally going to tell me? In the past, an accident occurred here that was the fault of a chemist. I know. What's the accident? It did such damage to some parts of the island that our native plants went extinct. In the wake of this, Moonberry banned chemists, especially chemists from the capital. Ever since, Mateo's family has been our only source of health care. Everything was going brilliantly. We didn't need chemists to live our lives well. Until one day, Rue suddenly fell ill. Mateo tried so many methods, but none of them worked. Except for the most basic of medications I could make. And that's when I realized it. There are problems we just can't solve by ourselves. Maybe we should write er maybe we shouldn't write up a whole group because of just one person. I mean duh. So I brought you here to see if you, a chemist, could in fact kill my daughter. And just as I expected, you did. My citizens will bear the scars of what happened. But I hope you'll come to understand them better and regain their trust. I want to give you this. Is that a blue gem? It's called an approval badge. It gives you permission to explore more of the island so you can gather more materials. Well, that was A, a weird way of me saying materials, and B, where else is there to explore? I mean, maybe the landslide is gone? I do apologize if all of this is rather foreign to you. It's just one of our town's regulations. Your success in treating Rue is proof of your ability as a chemist. And if you can prove that you have other skills, I'd be happy to upgrade your badge to a higher level in the future. Okay, so there's different colors, I imagine. These are the permits, I guess. I'm looking forward to seeing you contribute to our town. Ta-da! It's a blue one. 
This badge can in er, this badge can be earned as you prove yourself to be a good chemist. With this badge, you will have access to certain areas around the island. <laughs> Apparently, it does get us past that landslide. Uh, the only person who can promote your badge is the mayor of Moonbury. To prove yourself as a good chemist, you will need to be assessed by the medical association. They can give you a letter of recommendation that will be useful to promote your badge. Okay. I wonder where the mayor's daughter is actually lurking around at. Because we haven't actually encountered her in the wild yet. Oh, this is probably Derek. Look who it is! The refugee from the capital! Just remember that I, Derek, am watching every move you make. Well, it took so long to find you that I don't think you are. You said you came here to help out. Bah! Do you expect me to believe that? Old Fisherman! Yes? Oh, it's the chemist. I'm Zeke. This town is lovely, isn't it? It's better than the capital. In every way. Chemist, do you like cats? You'd better. Was he threatening me about just cats? Okay, well, whatever. I don't know what to think about that. <laughs> Hi there, how can I help you? Getting bored of that old potion house already, huh? Haha. <laughs> well, I'm sure I can help make it more comfortable for you. It'll be nice to fix that old place up. I'll just need the lumber and my payments. That won't be a problem, right? I don't know. It might be. Hey, I'm Rainer. I'm the carpenter. I wonder if there are carpenters like me in the capital. Hey, what's up? Okay. I, I want to check it. No, I want to check out your shop. Shop. Wow, that's expensive for kitchen renovation. Uh, the cheapest table is two hundred gold. I've got 600. <laughs> uh, There's going to be a lot of grinding for resources I can already see. <laughs> Bear rug. Uh, let's see. Are these bookshelves important? Not particularly. Kitchen upgrade would probably be pretty useful though, I imagine. Those upgrades are probably going to be important for story stuff later, so that's probably going to be the first real goal for my spending, I guess. Unless something comes up. Uh, right away the kitchen and the potion house to unlock cooking. I'm wondering when I unlock the um, research options. Oh, time is passing while I'm on the shop. I'm guessing considering Raynar walked, again, uh, walked away. Oh, axe. I can't pick up. I'm guessing this is Zeke's house. Yeah, this is Zeke's house. It's full of cat foods and a small wooden bed. Uh, I think I've introduced myself to most of the people in town. Which means something terrible is probably going to happen first thing in the morning. I don't know who else to introduce myself to, though. But we can find out. Oh, this actually is information on the uh, higher friendship level. Okay. So I'm guessing there's three tiers to friendship levels, just based on that. Wow, her eyes are crooked in the... Huh. I didn't expect that. Especially since they're all at diagonals, that means her eye is even lower than it looks like there. It's definitely very odd. Uh, that's the pirate guy. There's Dean. Dean and Derek. Forrest. I don't know who this is. 
<laughs> Apparently, oh, Garrett's in a wheelchair. Okay, I thought he was just sitting around. Uh, that's, uh, what was her name? Leona? Go with the really wild hair. And here's, uh, a certain character that apparently loves collecting antiques and rare gems. Uh, Kips is Zeke's black cat, whose appearance is often associated with the harbinger of misfortune. In reality, this cat has brought nothing but joy to the residents of Moonbury. Everyone loves this little furball. Other tiers require a higher friendship with the cat. I don't know who these people are. I know who this guy is because he was in the farm, though, but he wasn't there after the cutscene. Um, I'm assuming that's the one in the tavern. Oh, Mateo. Oh, there's a romance option! You can romance Mateo! Okay. So there's romance options in the game. That's the first real actual indication of it. <laughs> that I, I mean, I didn't notice earlier. Oh, you can romance Shao as well. You can't romance Zeke, though. I know everyone was looking forward to that. Not an option, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, let's see. I've only noticed male romance options so far. Is that really the case? Or is it just a coincidence? Yeah, apparently I can only romance men so far. Well, let's see if that changes when I interact with people in the tavern. Oh, apparently it's a cutscene. Hey, you! What are you doing? Um, looking at the bulletin board? Oh, you're that person from the capital. Welcome to my place. This is Moonberry's Tavern. We serve food and drink. We have some arcade machines downstairs. Feel free to drop by during our opening hours. This is the opening hours. Well, whatever. Good day, Raylan TV. Oh, how rude of me. My name is Martha. Nobody in Moonberry is unkind on purpose. Please don't worry about it. They just need some more time. Have you tried Yorin's root beer? I'd highly recommend it. Okay, I'm assuming she's a romanceable person, just based off of how it's been going so far, but we'll find out. She is. Okay. Yes, I'm Yorn. I own the tavern. Come and pay us a visit sometime. I want to interact with Yorn. Why are you looking at me like that? Friendship up. Okay, I don't think there's... Oh, actually, probably Nova's downstairs, isn't she? Or... Oh, cutscene again. Okay. Oh, maybe I can actually gamble now. Hi there, sweetheart. I'm mildly surprised she isn't a romance option. This is your first time here, isn't it? Well, welcome to the Arcade Center. Feel free to play games here when you're bored. Or maybe... You can hang out with me if you're at a loose end. <sighs> Those are arcade machines. Yeah, same dialogue as before. So I can't actually play with her, surprisingly. Oh, can I play... Can I play these? Nope, it just seems to be the arcade machine stuff. Is this the same game? Um, I guess I can't play with those. Uh, yeah, that's whack and wall still. How about this one? Okay, they're all whack and wall, I guess. Let's see, up the stairs... I guess no one's around the tavern right now. There's our dog. 
I wonder how many more people I actually have to, well, where the rest of the people are, have to meet are, I guess. The more appropriate question. There's the mayor. Oh, what was that? There's a flashing circle over here, but I don't know why. Well, whatever. Um. Oh, there's another shop. Clothing shop? Silky Stitch Tailor. This is probably Nova. Oh, I do apologize. I just can't believe what I'm seeing. Your appearance is so dull. Yeah, I went for all brown, basically. Well, welcome to my shop, Silky Stitch Tailors. I don't sell whatever fashion is popular in the capital right now, darling. You may be wearing... You may be wearing the best materials, but there's just no finesse. Wow, everyone in town is here. Greetings, friend. I'm Luck. So you're from the capital. Would you like to tell me some or more about it sometime? Have you met my or have you met Laura, my sister? She's so energetic, isn't she? I don't think I have met her. Yes, are you talking to me? Those manners are just what I expect of someone from a dirty place like the capital. My name is Nova. With enough perseverance, I can fix your strange hair and outfit. Excuse me? Are you free right now? Yeah, I'm trying to do like the really sassy voice. Like the flamboyant sassy voice. I'm not pulling it off too well, I don't think, right now. Okay, Hannah. Hello there, sugar. Name's Hannah. I know you're cute, but don't I look fabulous? Oh, my hair? Fabulous, right? I dyed it myself. Uh, oh, there's an actual shop option. I can change my skin color at the shop. But not only that, I can change it to like really weird colors that I can unlock later. Um... Everything else is just colors, no new outfits. Which I'm a bit disappointed by because I was expecting actual new outfits. Uh, but apparently not. Just... Just recolors. They might change later, but I'm not sure yet, obviously. Uh, let's see... How about... Oh, these are travel points, okay. Probably should have used these sooner. Now, once they've been activated, the designated points will be registered on the world map. You can teleport to any destination you've been to before, basically. Oh, there's room. Ah, it's you. Thank you for your help back then. I'm Rue, the mayor's daughter. Nice to meet you again. I wonder what kind of flowers grow in the capital. Can you tell me more about them? So I'm just assuming right now that basically every female character I haven't met yet is probably romanceable, just because there was none on the list when I was checking initially earlier. <laughs> wow, that was... Okay, that was an interesting pose there. What's your name, matey? People call me Captain Dan. Do you want to become my crew, mate? Arr. Arr, where's the gold? It must be hidden. That sneaky lot. I'll crush their barnacles. Okay. Just, just okay. No, don't run away from me. Come on. Let me talk. But... Okay. Everyone's running to their houses now, I guess. What locations have I actually unlocked here for teleporting? the one. Okay. Where other... Or where other places are there? So the, probably these bell icons, I guess. So there's obviously one there. 
And there's one there as well. Apparently not near the train, surprisingly. There's one at the beach. So we're gonna head over to the beach for now, I guess. I'm wondering how it saves. I'm assuming it's auto-saving every time I sleep. Uh, but I don't have any actual confirmation of that. Uh, let's go to the beach first then, at least. What house is this? Monastery. Why are there bats and skulls then? The house is a monastery. Actually, I haven't seen the church yet, have I? I know there is one. Oh, it's right here, actually. This doesn't seem mildly cursed at all. This doesn't seem more cursed with all the candles at all. What's this bulletin board? Currently unavailable. Oh, the graveyard. A chemist? I'm Victor. What do you want from me? <laughs> Wait. Kynus seems to like you. Kynus? You can't see him. But of course. <laughs> <laughs> ah, chemist. What am I laughing at? <laughs> it's nothing important. You wouldn't understand. Alright then. I'm not going to go over here again, I don't think. Not for a while, at least. See if I can meet anyone on the beach, but I probably can't. Because they've probably all gone home. Oh, well, apparently not. Oh, it's you. What do you need? I'm Opal Heart. You might have heard of my blacksmithing wares. A tool is only useful in the hands of someone who needs it. Okay. Here, anyone on the pier? Apparently not. Oh, fishing store. Okay. Down here. I guess they were actually pirates. <laughs> We've got all that uh, treasure lurking around. I'm gonna guess pretty much everyone's at the tavern right now. They're probably heading out right now. Because it just closed. Oh, my icon on the map on the mini-map glows. That's kinda cool. I didn't think it would glow in the dark. Also, here's the flag thing. Should have done that sooner. Uh, bulletin board. Okay, nothing there. That's still bulk and build. I can't recall where the blacksmith was. Oh, there's the mayor's place. Oh. And again. Uh, is there anyone else around? What? Don't know why Osman's lurking around outside, but whatever. Ah, oh, Runeheart. Oi, so you're the chemist? Smaller than I expected. I'm Runeheart, Moonberry's soon-to-be legendary blacksmith. Now, where'd I put my tools? Have you seen them? Wait, who's that guy? Otmar says hi. He was the top scorer in the mole game! <laughs> Otmar don't like chemist. Liano don't like chemist. Otmar trying his best to do good. Move away. Okay, where's Liano then? Let's see if we can find her, but probably not. And not back there, obviously. How about upstairs? Anyone up here? She's probably in the casino. 
or the arcade. Because uh, it won't let me do any gambling, apparently. There, I was right. What's that look on your face? Must be the first time you've set eyes on an old seafarer, eh? I'm Liano. That's me shop on the beach. Even though I was a stern seafarer in the past, me love of this island is real. Have I met everyone yet? Still one missing at least. One. Uh, two. Three, four. Huh. Who are the last four that are missing then? I have no clue who they could be. Okay, they're going to remain a mystery for a while, I guess. Alrighty. Well, we're back home. So I guess it's time to sleep. Sleepy time. Okay, it does save when I go to sleep. I think I might call it a stream there. Just because... <laughs> My throat is all dried up. <laughs> yeah, I might call it a stream there. I'm going to look for someone to raid, but I'll be back in a minute or so. Uh, hopefully you'll stick around for that minute and uh, join the raid. I went to the wrong tab there. <laughs> someone playing it pretty quickly so let's raid this person here and uh, have a good day everyone hopefully you enjoyed the stream uh, if you haven't already please do follow uh, at 100 followers I'll be giving out uh, five gift subs so you know follow for a chance to win um, and hopefully I'll see you next week <laughs>